Hi friends, good morning. I welcome you back to the Astra program presented by Akka IS Academy. In this video, I'll be solving 10 different questions, 7 based upon partnership method and 3 reading comprehension questions. Okay guys, uh, I'll be explaining very slowly. If at all you find it too slow, then try to watch your video into one, uh, with 1 1.5 or 2 into speeds. Then the times, uh, time will be saved for you also and you will also be gaining in a clear insight upon the problems okay so let's begin ajay started a business investing rupees 12000 ajay started a business investing rupees 12000 after 5 months bala joined him with a capital of rupees 9000 at the end of the year the total profit was 4416 so what is the share what's the profit of the ajay share of profit of ajay okay so guys actually here there are two persons investing not at the same time okay see here ajay is starting a business here okay and also bala is also in the business yes or no but actually ajay start ajay starts the business and invest initially 12000 rupees here okay so after 5 months they are giving after starting after running the business for 5 months then bala joins and with the capital of rupees 9000 rupees see here this you need to take care here okay at the end of a year it's the the question says at the end of the year so this business has been running for 12 months right at the end of the year means uh, for one year one year is nothing but 12 months right so the total investment of ajay from the uh, starting point till the end of the year will be so 12000 for 12 months he will be investing here whereas Bala, after 5 months of the starting of the business, he will be investing a capital of 9000 rupees. So, 12 minus 5 will be for 7 months, right? So, a capital of 7, uh, capital of rupees 9000 will be invested for 7 months by Bala, okay? See, this difference you need to understand very clearly before uh, writing the equation. So the what the question asks is the total profit was 4416. What is the share of profit of Ajay? Okay, I'll be solving it in the next page here. So what is the given data here? There are two persons Ajay and Bala. Okay, so Ajay is investing a capital of 12,000 rupees for 12 months. For a complete year he will be investing. Whereas Bala is investing a capital of 9,000 rupees for 12 minus 5 months because after 5 months Bala will be joining. Okay, so 9,000 rupees into 7, 12,000 into 12 will be the ratio will be 9,000 into 7. So th here this kind uh, in, in this type you need to write the uh, uh, given data will be here. Okay, so here what uh, this 3 see here the cancellation occurs here. Okay. 0 0 0 and 0 0 0 will be cancelled here so what will be the remaining 12 into 12 will be 9 into 7 okay so 12 12 za will be 144 into 9 7 za 63 so this is the ratio of uh, we are getting here okay so upon solving this uh, or else we can directly uh, do cancellation here right see here uh, this goes in 3 stable 3 4s are 12 3 3s are 9 and 3 1s are 3 3 4s are 12 so 4 4s are 16 is to 7 ok same ratio 144 is to 63 is also right whereas 16 is to 7 is also right ok try to uh, simplify where uh, where and when it is possible there only ok so then you will be uh, uh, getting a lesser number then only you will be uh, you will be arriving to the answer in a very easily format right ok so what is the total pro uh, uh, what is the question they have asked here what is the profit of Ajay they have asked here right so what is the total profit total profit earned after year it is in the given data that is 4416 ok this is the profit earned ok and they are also asking the share of Ajay what is the share of the Ajay here 16 is the ratio here right 16 is the ratio divided by 16 plus 7 that is the total part that is 23 into what is the profit earned here 4416 ok 
we need to simplify this 16 upon 23 into 4416 uh, 23 uh, one times and uh, this will be 4416 upon 23 so 23 one times and this is 23 into 1 and 9 and 2 okay so here 16 upon 1 will be into 192 so this is also a big number right guys okay 16 into 180 is also a big number so what you can do is simplifying here 16 into 190 okay plus 16 into 2 this you can do right 16 into 190 or else 190 into 16 or uh, see th this way also you can do or else what you can do is uh, multiplication wise to get in a more simple fraction what you can do is see 192 into 16 you need to multiply right 192 into 16 so this I need to multiply right so what will I do is 192 into 10 okay plus 192 into 6 see this is uh, this is this multiplication is same as 192 into 16 right 192 into 10 plus 192 into 6 so this this will be uh, uh, to calculate this will be very bit, uh, bit easy in method okay so 1920 I'll be getting here 192 into 6 is uh, this is this is 6 12 so uh, 192 plus 1152 okay upon adding this 2 will be there for 7 and uh, 0 3 3072 is the final answer okay see guys uh, actually in partnership you will always be dealing with the uh, bigger number okay try to uh, do, do avoid calculating the bigger number don't make uh, your number a big big hefty and all okay try to make it as simple as possible and uh, you need to uh, improvisation uh, you need to improve yourself daily by calculating the bigger numbers okay see uh, moving on to the next question then Nikita and Nishita enters into a partnership by investing rupees 50,000 and 40,000 respectively. By investing 50,000 and 40,000 respectively, they agree to share the profit in the ratio of their capitals. Find out the share of Nikita when profit of the business is 22,500. Okay, profit is given 22,500. And what the question says is Nikita and Nishita enters into a partnership by investing rupees. 50,000 and okay what is the sh uh, Nikita here it is 50,000 and Nishita is 40,000 okay two different capitals okay they agreed to share the profit in the ratio of their capitals find out the share of the Nikita when the profit of the business is after a year okay so both are starting the business from the initial stage so into 12 and into 12 okay see here I'll be solving it in the next page Nikita and Nishita okay Nikita and Nishita both are starting the business what is the capital here 50,000 and 40,000 both are starting the business from the initial stage till the year so what will be the profit here they will be into 12 and into 12 for into 12 means for one year both will be there in the business so uh, here this the, the these zeros will be cancelled here right zero 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 and zero this zeros will be cancelled here so 12 into 5 is to 4 into 12 okay see again again this zero this will be also this also will be cancelled 12 and 12 will be cancelled here so what will be the remaining 5 is to 4 is the ratio of their investment okay 5 is to 4 uh, what they have asked is Nikita's they have asked so 5 by what is the total part here 5 plus 4 9 okay 5 by 5 uh, 5 by 9 into what is the profit here 22,500 so 5 by 9 into 22 into 500 this will be 9 1 times 9 2 times then 500 okay so uh, 2500 into 5 this will be 12500 okay 
so this is the answer here option d is the right answer here okay guys uh, a, a simple problem you need to understand the concept what they have given and what they have not given and what they have asked you to find out okay so moving on to the next question ajay adi and arun invested rupees of 45000 70000 and 90000 respectively see three persons are involved in the business here they are investing three different capitals 45000 70000 and 90000 respectively to start a business at the end of 2 years okay what is the time period here 2 years they earned a profit of rupees 164000 what will be the adi share here okay see three persons ajay adi and arun they are investing a capital of 45000 and 70000 and 90000 okay Uh, respectively to start a business at the end of 2 years okay 2 years means 24 into 24 into 24 24 means 24 months okay so 2 years they earned a profit of 164000 this is the given data here so they are asking the adi share in the profit okay they are asking adi share in the profit okay i'll solve it in the next page here guys given data is ajay adi arun three persons are in the business so 45000 70000 and 90000 so they are investing for 24 months into 24 into 24 this will be the ratio here okay so uh, we need to solve this three zeros will be cancelled here three zeros three zeros will be cancelled here and 24 goes 24 goes and 24 also goes here so what is the remaining here is 45 is to 70 is to 90 see upon the, this upon uh, simplifying again i'll be getting 9 is to 14 is to 18 okay this is the ratio upon their capital i'll be getting here okay so what they have asked here to find the share of the adi right Adi share they have asked you to find. So Adi share is fourteen divided by fourteen plus nine plus eighteen. That will be forty one. So what is the profit here? One lakh sixty four thousand here, right? One lakh sixty four thousand. So one lakh sixty four thousand divided by forty one. That will be four times. Okay. So four. Thousand. See here, fourteen into four thousand. That will be fifty-six thousand. Okay. So this is the share of the Adi here. See right. So option A is the right answer, guys. Okay. A simple problem, but uh, you need to find the calculations. The, the the calculation part you need to make it faster. Okay. So then only you'll be arriving to the answer in a bit faster rate. Right? So moving on to the next question. Ajay, Vicky, and Bala. Three persons are involved here. Okay, three persons are involved. Ajay, Vicky, and Bala entered into a partnership business. Ajay invested sixteen thousand for nine months. Vicky invested twelve thousand for six months, and Bala invested eight thousand for twelve months. At the end of the year, there uh, there was a profit of twenty six thousand. Find out the share of the Vicky in the profit. Okay, see, I'll be solving it in the next page. A simple problem, guys. the given data is ajay vicky and bala three persons are involved in a business okay what is the share of the ajay here 16000 and for how many months he is investing for 9 months he is investing okay and vicky share will be 12000 for 6 months he will be investing and bala share is 8000 for 12 months he will be investing okay see this is the given data here okay how can we simplify here this zero should be gone this zero should be gone here what is remaining here 16 into 9 16 into 9 will be 12 into 6 will be 8 into 12 okay so this is remaining here upon uh, solving again see what i'll be getting is this can be solved into uh, right okay 4 into 9 3 into 6 and 8 into 12 so again i can solve this it goes in
two uh, into three will be going on here and this will be three and four so okay so this will be the final ratio will be two threes are six six is to three is to four this is the final ratio guys okay you need to simplify the uh, simplify where and when uh, it is possible here only okay the four so the final ratio will be six is to three is to four okay so they have asked to find out the share of the wiki right so share of the wiki will be three upon six plus three plus four that will be 13 so what is the profit 26,000 okay so this is a simple collection 13 into 2 will be 26 here 13 1 times and 13 2000 times will be 66 here so 3 to just will be 6000 rupees okay so this is the answer here what the share of the wiki will be rupees 6000 rupees okay uh, the calculations you need to do a bit in a faster method and also guys actually um, what I thought here is uh, in one of the particular video I'll be dealing with uh, how to uh, so when I take up number systems I'll also uh, I'll also be dealing with a simpler uh, solution okay uh, a different method how you to uh, how to solve the multiplication or division or make it so how you can uh, solve uh, solve the equations in a faster method okay I'll try to make a note and uh, in the upcoming videos I'll also be teaching you a method in the in the form of Vedic mathematics how to multiply uh, bigger numbers very efficiently in a single step okay uh, so moving on to the next problem Arun started a business investing rupees 32,000 rupees 32,000 after five months Bala joined him with a capital of rupees 22,000 at the end of the year the total profit was 16409 what is the difference between the shares of Arun and Bala okay the question is asking what is the difference between the shares of Arun and Bala okay we shall solve it in the next uh, page here see they have asked uh, there are two persons Arun and Bala so the question asks to find the difference in shares difference in shares right okay so what is the capital they are investing Arun and Bala that is 32,000 okay Arun will be in the business for the whole complete month whole complete year so 32 into 12 is 2 so 22,000 will be invested by Bala so after 5 months they have told okay after 5 months he will be joining into the business in a year so the remaining will be 7 months 12 minus 5 so this is the ratio here this 0 this 0 this will be cancelled here so what is the remaining here 32 into 12 will be 22 into 7 okay so this is the ratio remaining here see here and uh, this 12 can be cancelled right this 12 can goes and this 22 goes in 6 uh, to 2 stable okay 2 uh, 6 are 12 2 11 sir so 32 into 6 will be 6 2 are 12 1 upon 19 192 will be 11 into 7 is 77 so this is the uh, ratio here 192 is to 77 is the ratio see here guys uh, in the previous questions what I was doing is if at all they are asking to find the ratio of uh, person A or person B if it uh, I was taking the ratio as 192 upon I was adding both the uh, I was adding both the total ratio okay then upon profit I will be multiplying here and in the same way if at all the 77 is there 77 upon the total number into profit I'll, I was doing here okay in this problem they have asked directly to find what is the difference of share right so do, no need to calculate the individual share here okay uh, in the old methods what uh, in the previous questions what the method I was using is no need to follow that method because I need to find the share of the person A and person B then I need to subtract right so directly what you can do is you can subtract the uh, share here 192 minus 17 192 is to 77 I have got here right 192 is to 77 so what is the difference here 192 minus 77 will be 115 okay so directly in one step only you can arrive here arrive to the problem here 115 upon adding 192 and 7 8 9 so 9 plus 7 will be uh, 269 will be the answer here so what is the total profit what is the total profit here 16409 okay 
so I need to uh, solve this equation here solve this uh, 115 upon 269 into 16409 so this I need to solve here so 260 16409 upon 269 will be 9 and 9 is there here okay this will be uh, going in one times and uh, this will be 26 into 5 is a this was 61 okay so 115 into 61 will be the answer here see again uh, this is a bigger number 115 into 61 so in the previous uh, question I have told you right 115 into how can I rate it into 60 plus 1 see 115 into 60 plus 1 yes or no so 115 into 6 I can do it in an easy method 6 5 is a 30 and uh, 6 1 is a 6 plus 3 so 9 is remaining so 69 double zero plus one one five this is the answer here seven zero one five is the answer seven zero one five is the total answer okay option d is the right answer here so moving on to the next question a and b enter into a partnership for a year in the initial stage only in the question they are telling that a and b enter into a partnership for a year time duration is given a contributes rupees fifteen hundred and b contributes rupees two thousand after four months they admit c okay the third person is coming after four months who contributes rupees 2250 if b withdraws his contribution after nine months okay so how many uh, total for how many months he is staying that we need to calculate so and how would they share a profit of rupees 900 at the end of year okay so what is the profit here 900 rupees and there are three persons and uh, the third person he's been admitted after four months and also the second person withdraws his contribution after nine months okay after nine months means that he is staying for in the business for only duration of nine months okay so here the uh, there are two three persons so a b and c so at the end of the year they are asking to calculate here see a and b enters into a partnership for a year a contributes rupees 1500 and b contributes rupees 2000 rupees and after four months they admit c so what is the uh, capital of C here? Two two five zero. Okay. See here. What for? What time duration all are investing? A remains in the business for the throughout the year. So into twelve. C B withdraws after nine months. They are telling. Okay. So only for nine months he will be remaining, and C will be admitted in the business after four months. Okay. So twelve minus four will be eight. So for totally eight months C will be remaining in the business. See the time duration we have got here, right? So we need to calculate the uh, problem I will be solving it in the next page here it is simple that so the given data is A is to B is to C ok that is 1500 into 12 is to 2000 into 9 double 250 into 8 ok so this will be 150 into 12, 200 into 9, 225 into 8. So this I can solve further. Okay. So 1, 150 into 12. How we can write 12 into 100. Also 12 into 50. I need to add this. 12 into 100 is 1200. And 12 is a 60 here. Right. So 600. So what is this? 1800 total. The calculations become easier right similarly 200 into 9 that is 1800 okay and 225 into 8 okay 225 into 8 how can write 200 into 8 and 25 into 8 200 into 8 is to 8 juice 16 1600 plus 25 into 8 is 400 so 1800 okay so 1800 is to 1800 is to 1800 I have got the ratio here yes or no so the total profit is 900 right so this is the ratio nothing but 1 is to 1 is to 1 1800 into 1800 into 1800 is nothing but the ratio 1 is to 1 is to 1 so the total profit is 900 so how much it will be divided into in three parts 300 into 300 into 300 okay this is the ratio how the profit will be divided between a b and c okay moving on to the next question now a b and c 
A, B and C enter into a partnership. They invest Rs. 40,000, 80,000 and 1 lakh 20,000 respectively. At the end of first year, B withdraws Rs. 40,000 while at the end of second year, C withdraws Rs. 80,000. In what ratio will the profit be shared at the end of 3 years? Well, okay, the time duration is 3 years. Okay, I'll be uh, writing the given data in the next page here, right? So there are three persons A, B and C. There are three persons here, right? Initial investment will be 40,000 by A and he will be staying in the business for total three years. So 40,000 into 36, okay? And again, for the first investment made by B will be 80,000 for one year because after one year he will be withdrawing uh, 40,000 rupees, okay? So the remaining 40,000 will be invested will be invested for 22 years, right? So 24 months, okay? So we need to add these two, okay? We need to add these two different types of investments are there, okay? So then C, initially one lakh twenty thousand, initially one lakh twenty thousand, okay, guys, for two years. So later on, the remaining amount forty thousand will be invested for twelve months. So we need to add this here, okay? Upon adding this, we I'll we'll be getting here forty thousand into thirty six. Uh, these zeros uh, after cancellation, I'll be uh, these zeros I can cancel, right? So I'll be writing directly here four into thirty six will be equals to eight into twelve plus. 4 into 24 that will be is to 12 into 24 plus 4 into 12 okay see guys actually this becomes a bigger problem if at all you go on solving 12 8 are 4 24 are 12 24 are 12 4 into 12 okay so you can uh, cancellation we can do cancellation here only see 12 is there 12 is there and 12 is there 12 2 are 24 is there and uh, this 24 to the, actually this uh, this would be going in directly okay so 4 is there and this 36 is there and 24 2 into 12 is there and 8 is there so upon uh, cancellation I'll be getting here 3 is to 4 is to 7 this is the ratio I'll be getting here okay upon cross multiplying okay see here so 3 is to 4 is to 7 is the answer here and option B is the right answer guys okay Try to make your uh, problem uh, very much in a simple form, okay? Uh, in a sim when, when the numbers are small only, then only you can uh, multiply or divide it in an easier manner. So try to uh, avoid multiplying and getting a bigger number, then dividing that bigger number, okay guys? So I'm moving on to the next question. The remaining three problems are upon the passage here. The, eight, uh, the question 8, the passage is, TRIA try will eventually take a call on whether India has to change its approach to internet regulation. Okay, but it isn't but isn't the internet perfect way it is? See, they are asking the question here. Okay, it will eventually take a call on whether India has to change the approach to internet regulation, but isn't the internet perfect the way it is? Okay, uh, it's actually contradicting the above statement here. Okay, apparently not. The solution is also given. At least that what is telecom companies believe after spending billions of dollars in setting up infrastructure and bringing themselves under the regulatory scrutiny, telecom companies can't bear the fact that numerous applications ride on their networks for free. Okay, numerous applications ride on their free. Some of the apps have millions of subscribers and command valuations of billions of dollars. Okay, in total, what is this passage speaking about, guys? Friends, we you need to understand that. Okay. And also in the previous videos, I have told you how to approach to a passage. Okay, first go and read the question here. Okay, first go and read the question, then come to the passage. Then only you can avoid the, uh, you can save the time here. See friends, what is the passage saying here? Try will eventually take a call whether uh, whether India has to change its approach to internet regulation. Okay, so uh, it's asking the question, but also it is saying the. Uh, it's contradicting the above statement but isn't the internet perfect it way apparently not because uh, these telecom companies they are spending billions of dollars in setting up the infrastructure and bringing themselves under the regulatory scrutiny 
telecom companies companies can't bear the fact that numerous application ride on the networks for free okay so we'll uh, I'll, I'll see the question now based on the about text answer whether author is against net neutrality or not okay so the question is that are asking that whether the uh, whether the author is against net neutrality or not okay so what is the he is against he is for neither for nor against insufficient text to determine the author's view i'll be reading the passage here wait see friends in the passage actually it is saying that uh, the author is saying that he is contradicting his own statements right try will eventually take a call on whether india has to change its approach to internet regulation he is asking a question here but he is also saying that but isn't the internet perfect way it is okay so he is contradicting the above statement apparently not see again he is telling that again he is contradicting the above uh, answer at least this is what telecom companies believe after spending billions of dollars in setting up the infrastructure and bringing themselves under the regulatory scrutiny telecom companies can't bear the fact that numerous application ride on this network for free there is a contradictory uh, the thing going on here okay they are spending billions of dollars to setting up the infrastructure whereas on that the applications what the uh, these the apps what, what they are say they are right free on that on this networks okay they are using that network for free but whereas the sum of the apps have millions of subscribers and command valuations of billions of dollars okay so there is a contradictory thing going on here okay he is not clear what the the author is not clearly saying that uh, whether this uh, net neutrality should be free or not okay he is he is always contradicting the above statement and again he is coming to the conclusion coming to a new conclusion every time here right so uh, based upon the above test the answer whether answer whether the author is against net neutrality or not we cannot say clearly he is against or he is for neither for not against okay so the most probable option will be insufficient text to determine the author's view okay guys so moving on to the next question it's a bigger passage so you need to uh, improvise yourself very uh, daily okay guys uh, okay friends you need to improvise yourself a daily how you how you need to uh, how you will read a faster and understanding in that rate only okay guys many nations now place their faith in capitalism and government choose it has a strategy to create wealth for their people the particular the spectacular economic growth seen in brazil china and india after the liberalization of their economies is a proof for enormous potential and success however the global banking crisis and the economic recession have left many bewildered the debates tend to focus on free market operations and forces their efficiency and their ability for self correction issues of justice integrity and honesty are rarely rarely elaborated to highlight the failure of the global banking system okay see here, both the both type of arguments they are giving in the above passage once they uh, say the spectacular economic growth seen in brazil china and india after the liberalization of their economics is the proof for the enormous potential and success whereas the global banking crisis and economic recession have left many bewildered okay so on both statement both type both the faces they are arguing the author is arguing okay hence he t- hence he tells that the debate tend to focus on the free market operations and forces their efficiency and their ability for self correction okay this point you need to note down here see the ability to self correction this actually after contradicting uh, after giving the contradicting statement two or three statements the author is telling that the author is telling that the debates tend to focus on free market or free market operations and forces and their efficiency and their ability of self correction okay so issues of justice integrity and honesty are rarely elaborated to highlight the failure of the global banking system okay so what is the causes of failure which are not highlighted issues of justice integrity and honesty okay uh, the apologist uh, apologist of the system continue to justify the su- success of capitalism and argue that recent crisis was a blip okay it was a just a bump in the road just a speed breaker like thing of thing it, it's a blip means okay in a smooth going road if at all one bump is there you cannot say that the road is not good okay it's it the, the hence the apologist of the system continue to justify the success of capitalism and argue that the recent crisis the recent bank crisis was a just a blip 
their arguments betray an ideological bias with the assumption that unregulated market is fair and competent and that the exercise of private greed will be in the larger public interest okay so they are arguing for the uh, unregulated market which is which will be fair and competent and that the exercise of private greed will be in the larger public interest okay if at all there is a greed for uh, profit it, it that that will lead to a larger public interest few recognize the bidirectional relationship between capitalism and greed that each reinforces other surely a more honest concept, conceptualization of the concepts of interest among the rich and powerful players have benefited from the system their biases and ideology is needed the focus on wealth creation should also highlight the resultant gross inequality okay the fair idea i am getting after reading the passage here okay i'll seeing the question now the apologist of the free market system according to the passages believe in market without control by the government authorities market without protection by government ability of the market for self correction market for free goods and service the apologist of the free market system according to the passage believe in okay i'll read the passage once again here the apologist part okay the apologist of the system continue to justify the success of capitalism and argue that the recent crisis was a blip okay why they are telling that the debates tend to focus on the market on the free market operations and the forces and their efficiency of their ability efficiency and their ability for self correction okay see the debate tend to focus on free market operations and forces their efficiency and their ability of self correction okay hence the apologist of the free market system we believe in that the ability of the market for self correction is the most appropriate answer here so ability of market to self correction is the most appropriate answer here moving on to the next question disruption of traditional institutions identifications and loyalties is likely to lead to ambivalent situations it is possible that some of the people may renew their identification with traditional groups whereas others align themselves with new groups and symbols emergent from processes of political development in addition or in addition political development tends to foster group awareness of variety of class tribe region clan language region religion occupation and others okay see i'll see the question here which one of the following is best explanation to the above passage option a political development is not unilinear process for it involves both growth and decay traditional societies succeed in res res resisting positive aspect of the political development option c it is impossible for traditional societies to break away from the lingering loyalties sustenance of traditional loyalties is conducive to political development okay so uh, which one of the following is the best explanation for the above passage so what what does the passage say disruption of traditional institutions identifications and loyalties is likely to lead to a ambivalent situations okay so there is the passage is telling in the first line only there is disruption in traditional in institutions okay the older system the loyalties are likely to lead to ambly ambivalent situations okay the, the the disruption will go on and it leads to ambivalent situation it is possible for some people may renew their identification when the disruption occurs so the people remaining they will try to identify with the new groups or else with the traditional groups okay so the so the new groups and symbols will be emerged from the uh, all the process okay there is a tradition there there is a group that will disrupt so after disrupting the uh, the group members will be identifying with the old group as well as the new group and in this process they align with the new groups and symbols emergent from the process of political development okay so uh, by doing this the political development occurs the, the 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 passage is saying like this okay in addition political developments tend to foster group awareness of variety of class okay so upon this process the disruption and the new group and the old group and and uh, for the new need the, the emergent of the new group in this process the political development actually tends to foster group awareness of variety of class right variety of people such as class tribe region clan language religion occupation and others okay so this is the passage he is saying we can we will examine the statements here 
पोलिटिकल डेवलपमेंट इज नॉट ए यूनिलियर प्रोसेस ओके बिकॉज इट इट इन्वॉल्व वेरियस क्लास एंड ट्राइब्स ओके दिस इज करेक्ट हियर फॉर इट इन्वॉल्व बोथ ग्रोथ एंड डी के सी हियर ग्रोथ एंड डी के बोथ इज देर राइट इट्स देर इज अ डिसरप्शन इज हैपनिंग हियर एंड आइडेंटिफिकेशन विद द ओल्ड एज वेल एज द न्यू ग्रुप एज हैपनिंग हियर एंड दट न्यू ग्रुप इज अराइजिंग एंड द साइकिल कंटिन्यूस ओके सो हेन्स पोलिटिकल डेवलपमेंट इज नॉट ए यूनिलियर प्रोसेस फॉर इट इन्वॉल्व बोथ ग्रोथ एंड डी के दिस इज द most probable option right most appropriate option amongst the other options okay guys uh, so this is it for this uh, today's video so i shall meet you with the next fresh video guys okay if at all you find this video informative kindly share it with your friends kindly like and kindly comment in the comment section okay guys so uh, there's a room for improvement for us also uh, thank you guys have a nice day